The victim of the plane crash yesterday in Mercer has been identified as George Cates, a businessman from Memphis who was always looking to help others and didn't care to receive any recognition for it. I know him very well. A.C. Wharton, the former Memphis and Shelby County mayor, says the loss of George Cates is incalculable. He wanted to be the heart of the community when it came to improving uh, the beauty and the cleanliness and the wholesomeness of this um, of this place we call Memphis. Cates died in a single engine plane crash in Mercer, right outside of Jackson, a plane he was piloting. My understanding that the pilot had radioed ahead and was experiencing some trouble, uh, and then they lost contact with that pilot. Cates and his plane were found 50 minutes later, around 10.30 Monday morning, crashed in a farm field. He left Memphis headed to Asheville, North Carolina, when he experienced some kind of trouble. After the trouble began, he was trying to make an emergency landing at McKellar Sipes Regional Airport. About 10 miles from the airport, they lost contact with the plane and it went down. Cates was the former head of Mid-America Apartment Communities. He was instrumental in forming the Overton Park Conservation. Overton Park tweeted, words are inadequate to describe the grief our team is feeling at the loss of our former board member, George Cates. We will be eternally grateful for his intelligence, humor, and passionate belief that Memphians deserve a world-class public space. Cates was also behind the massive improvements going on at the Overton Park golf course. That was the last thing he called me about, uh, was the golf course. Wharton says Cates was the driving force behind the Neighborhood Preservation Act that helps clean up blight, a fungi that plagues houses. But it was just something he saw that the human should not live in conditions uh, like that. Something Wharton says many people don't know about Cates was his idea of no-whistle zones, quiet zones for trains traveling through neighborhoods. Wharton says Cates was warned about that endeavor. Nobody takes on the railroad. Well, George Cates took on um, the railroad. The cause of the plane crash is still unclear. The Federal Aviation Administration and the National Transportation Safety Board are continuing the investigation. Alexander Bitterling, 39 News, Jackson.